Hello, this is Nerd Alert 226, and today we are going to make iron sulfide out of sulfur and some iron filings. So, what you need for this experiment, other than the sulfur and iron filings, is you would need a vial and a top to hold your finished product. You need a metal basin or just a metal plate or jar from a jar and since this one isn't big or if you want to if you want to use a alcohol burner but I'm just going to use my lighter and burn it I'm going to you can take this and a clay triangle if it doesn't fit and you can just place it on top of there and use that so okay and remember to do this outside because this releases sulfur dioxide and which is very hazardous and it doesn't smell very good. It's going to stink up your whole house probably. So, all right. See you. Okay, now that we're outside, we are going to make our iron sulfide. Oh, and in the last vi or in the last part of the video, I did not mention that you need goggles and a spoon, a small spoon like this. Okay. So, what you're going to do is that you're going to put a spoon, a spoon or two of sulfur on the plate. That's probably good. About that much sulfur. And then you would take some iron filings and then once you have the sulfur on the plate then you would take some of your iron filings and place about a spoon of them on the plate as well. Now, it's important to mix this very well. So, uh oh, wind. Gotta protect it from the wind. So you take it and you mix it up. Um, you want to get the very big chunks of sulfur ground up and mixed in with it. Uh oh, more wind. Okay. So now, as you can see, it's all mixed up, and if and as you can see, it's all mixed up. My lighter sometimes doesn't work. So now I am burning the iron sulfide mixture and once your sulfur catches on fire part of it will glow and then that glow will spread to the rest of it as you can see and it will catch on fire and you want to do this outside because as you can see it's releasing a lot of smoke actually I'm not sure if the camera catches it but that smoke is actually sulfur dioxide smoke and you do not want to inhale that so if you have a respirator that protects against iron that protects against um, sulfur dioxide. It's a little bit overboard because it's a small amount of smoke, but don't, I wouldn't take any chances. So here's your cake. Don't touch it with your bare hands because this is very, very hot. And and that is crude iron sulfide. And thank you for watching. That was a Nerd Alert 226 production.